just watch Nero is distracting as fuck. You could enter. I, I'm, I'm going to enter, thank you. Can you enter the bean? So, Josh, did you notice what the level names spell out in this one? No, I didn't. It's they spell cartoon? things. Well, in Return to Dreamland, the level name spelled out Crowned, which is like the name of uh, the last boss's theme song. Uh, which is not really like a that exciting. <laughs> but in this one, they spell out Flower. Mm. Also not very exciting. Well, I'm assuming they do. I haven't got to the sixth world yet, but so far I've seen F L O W E. <laughs> Flow it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be flower. <laughs> I like these well, trains coming last at me. Well, letters and X, so <laughs> flowing. <laughs> no, I don't actually know. I got bombed. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, uh, yeah, it um. Yeah, in Canvas Curse, the level names spell out rainbow. So. Ah, cause colors. Yeah. Nice. I get it. I think those are the only three that like spell something though. So what you're telling me is it's not unheard of that I didn't know that this was a thing. No, I, of course, no. I, I mean. Never beat Canvas Curse, so I wouldn't expect you to know that. Yeah. Which levels spell stuff out, or is it just the first letter of like the first? Like the world, like the world names, like uh, yeah. yeah. Like in Canvas Curse, for example, it's like Ready Land, Orange Gorge, E Yellow Adventure, <laughs> Neo Grio, Blue Hills. Neo Geo. Oh, Marine Zone. Yeah, Neo Grio sounds like Neo Geo. That's what I always used to call it. Um, oh, Marine Zone, and then Wonder Lane. So, like, the first letter of each world spells rainbow. Um, but in Return to Dreamland and this game, every world has, like, both words start with the same letter. So, like, Nutty Noon or... Uh, mm. My favorite from from uh, from Triple Deluxe is Endless Explosion. <laughs> yeah, that one's awesome. <laughs> that's the world I'm in right now, and I just think that's a hilarious name for a world. Michael, yeah. Bay, Michael Bay directed. Right? Endless Explosion. Yeah, I got some Papa Murphys. Papa Murphys. Oh. Bomb, please. Bomb, please. Bomb, please. Oh, right, you got hit by a train. Yeah. You, By yeah. a waddle -dee train. Now drop a train on <laughs> A waddle train. You probably could have gone after that bomb, but you gave up. Yeah. I'm a quitter. What can I say? You didn't even want to check, like, underneath that platform? I don't know if there's anything there. I like the trains in this level, man. Yeah. You like These trains in video games? I like trains. But this, the levels in this game feel very, like, train lived in. in. Well, no. Shut up. Matt, but you know, what I, you know what I mean? They seem like they're like... They're alive. Like they're... they're Like real areas. You know? Mm -hmm. Which is... I, I think it's really neat. I like the 3D gimmick a lot, actually. Oh my lord, a turnip! Quite a bit. You're Peach! And Mario! This is... One of my favorite, like... Hypernova puzzles so far is like throwing these turnips around. I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm. They do some really cool stuff with it. Your train. You just killed like six families. <laughs> no, there's nobody on them trains. They're empty. Eat that train, Matt. You got a treasure chest on it. Oh, I do see that. Okay, I see it. I'm bad. I don't know how you didn't see it the first time. <laughs> Bad. That's it. why. You got this. Can you tell yeah. me once again? Oh no, yes. I missed the first one. <clears throat> ah, go again. Yep, gotta play the whole stage again. Start all over. I need a key. Those turnips are so surprised. I know, they make me a, a hilarious face. 
Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean. I know. <laughs> what are you? What? <laughs> Are you impersonating the turnip saying rude or what? Sure. He's, he's trying to make me feel bad for calling their face hilarious. <laughs> oh. Wham bam. Thank you, turnip. You got to kill him again. Thanks, Josh. I figured that out, though. Uh -huh. You got the sunstone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but you missed the first one. Shut up! I don't need your <laughs> I don't need your constant reminder. It's on the bottom screen for me to see the whole stage. Yeah, well, I can't see it. <laughs> uh, hey, Matt. You told me this was important. It's not important. I'm just giving you a hard time. Jeez. Matt, you missed the first one. Yeah. Shut up, Josh. <laughs> That's my job. You missed the first one. Oh, okay. Look at Birdie, an angry boy. You gotta kill it. I <laughs> yep. Obviously, they're the not, not just going to throw that random bird in there and not have me kill it. Oh, <laughs> This is a cool mini boss. Yeah, I like this. I, I like the Hypernova like boss fights. It's cool. They, they come up with creative ways to suck stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Watch that one, too. Mm-hmm. Put the 3D on for the... When you kill us. For the porn? <laughs> sure. Yeah, that too. It took me a while to kill this guy. Yeah, this one was... The kind third of a pain. one? Because he moves around so much. Mm -hmm. Like an asshole. He's an asshole. But you get it. Oof. Oh, red turnip. Blah. Blah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, a door. How come you don't have a door, Woody? Why would Woody have a door? <laughs> it's one of his accessories. Why Woody? Why Woody? <laughs> Why Woody? <laughs> See, mm. I instantly made the joke even worse. <laughs> well, today's May the 4th. So, you know what that means. No, I don't. <laughs> Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, I, got, I know that, but what does that have to do with Toy Story and Woody's and Doors? I have oh, no, no idea. Does he own Star Wars <laughs> and Pixar? At the same time. Disney just owns money. All the money. That's a cool keychain. They, Disney owns fun. Yeah, I like Wispy <laughs> with keychain. It's awesome. Shotzo. All right. Hope you guys like that level. You get to see it again. I do like that level. Well, you good. Just come back for the ease. Nope. <sighs> All right. You're playing it the Ricky way, where you don't advance to the next level until you get everything. That's how I play games. Yeah. But I don't know where it like it is. Like, how did I miss it the first time? That's the question. Oh. Look around. I I think it's better to do it like immediately rather than like later after like beating like the entire game I guess because then no. you would forget the like level layout. Sure, no, I mean I, I'm saying the same, that's how I do it too. That's why I said it was the Ricky, Ricky way. Yeah. Handed Ricky way. That's yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ricky's the first person too. in the history of video games to ever do that. I, I, <laughs> no, it's false. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Whatever. I don't need. I don't gotta take no guff. <laughs> I don't gotta explain clown. shit to you, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this ability is really cool. <laughs> I love leaf. You it's should like... shield as the leaf. Okay. I want to see what it looks like. Leaf shield. He just hides in a pile of leaves. Okay then. We. It's fall. Those leaves ain't fall leaves. Yeah, those are fresh leaves. Those are regular leaves. Those are plain Jane boring leaves. <clears throat> hey, right. look at that. I'm already, <laughs> I've already done better this time than... <laughs> I just leafed that motherfucker. 
It's like, I got a bow and arrow. You're like, I got leaves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> took out an archer with leaves. <laughs> Can you kill Shotso? No. Can you kill Hyper Shotso or whatever that is? <laughs> Hyper Shotso. Big ass Shotso. Shotso yeah. Deluxe. Shotso DX, right. Man, I found a sunstone. Thanks, man. It's, it's up right there. there. You got, you got it. it. I got you it. Beat the guy. <laughs> uh, this game's really good. Yeah, yeah I like it. I love it. I love it. I like the enemies that like fly in between the screens. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's really cool too. I just, uh, you know, the 3DS, like, its whole gimmick is, like, 3D, and, like, That's... Nintendo's sort of forgotten that. <laughs> they don't they do not do it so often anymore, you know? Like, fucking Pokemon turns the 3D off at most of the game, so it's, like... Yep, battles are the only thing that are in 3D, and if you put it on... That was really stupid. It's even back. slower! Yeah. No, but I like that, too. This game seems like it was designed with 3D in mind, rather than just, like, having it tacked on. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like it! Yeah, it's I awesome. like it. But it's built around the gimmick instead of just having it to have it. Yeah. That's it's how just, games it's should be good. built. If you're going to have a gimmick, you might as well build around it and not just have a gimmick. Might as well. Might no, don't need no fucking stages where you got to waggle to make a bird fly. Yeah. What? Super Mario Galaxy 2 is one of the best games ever made. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. Oh, I thought you were talking about fucking Scarrow, sorry. Oh. Well, well, I, no. like, I like flying on the bird, goddammit. Yeah, it's better. In Super in Mario Skyward Galaxy Sword? 2? In, in Skyward, Skyward Sword. Sword. Okay, because I was about to be like, you cray, like you were no, wrong. Oh, oh. Flying on Ho-Oh in Galaxy 2 is baneful. It's awful, but I like the loft wing in Skyward Sword, so shut up. No, I don't have anything no. against that. I, in Skyward Sword, I'm the like waggle gimmicks I hate are just the... The, the pointless. Uh, yeah, like the keys. The keys are the worst, I think, and then also the, walking the on the pipe. like tightrope walking. Balancing. Yeah. Yeah, like that sucks. Like the rest of the gimmicks, like the battling. Even though I suck at it, like I get it. It's cool, and like all that stuff. Ooh, that one. That turn up was sexy. <laughs> Took me like five billion hours to get. Do that pumpkin mini game in Skyward Sword. I yeah, that gave up. Was, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's a perfect game. All right. <laughs> Skyward Sword has a lot of problems, but but it's also one of the greatest Zelda's of all time, according best, to me. Of the all stuff, time. The best stuff in Skyward Sword is the best stuff I've ever seen. So it's definitely in the top three for me, Josh. Yeah. Like uh, I'd, I'd say it's my second favorite Zelda game, although A Link Between Worlds came out. Dude, A Link Between Worlds is really good, but I don't think it's. I don't know. I I I, I, I hate to just like sit and make a blanket statement like this, but I think I'm with JonTron that I always prefer the 3D Zeldas to the I 2D pref ones. I prefer the 3D Zeldas to 2D Zeldas. Me and Don. Have you know, mm -hmm. I argued about this before because I know he prefers 2D, but I don't know. I just, no, I have nothing against the 2D Zeldas. I think they're all good. Like none of them no, are I, bad. I I, I like, like almost the 3D all better. of them a lot, and uh, Link Between Worlds is phenomenal. But I I just don't think it's as good as uh, Majora's Mask or Skyward Sword. This is I, a Kirby game. <laughs> and <laughs> I already played that level. <laughs> yeah, might, as well, talk about might as well talk about something else. <laughs> hey, it was the patented Ricky Ray, Ricky Ray, Ricky Ray of raying rebels in radio. Bro, I don't know what you're saying right now. Bro, he was trying to say that that was the Ricky way of playing levels because that's what I said because I'm a conceited asshole. Um, but uh, uh, he accidentally started talking like Scooby-Doo and decided to run with it. And uh, I, I made fun of him by going rut <laughs> uh, This is a really pretty stage. You're a really pretty stage. I like pretty stages. Ricky, you've been playing uh, Donkey Kong, man. 
How yeah, far are you into that it's game? A, it's a very pretty game. Yeah, it is. It's a very fun game, too. And, it is. Uh, how, how far are you into it? I'm only on the second world. No. I, I Get to world just three. got to the I just got to the boss before I like stopped, so I haven't fought the boss yet. Stuck with all those old times? Um, no, I just was gonna eat dinner and I just stopped. But um, because of the load times? <laughs> no, <laughs> load times are not as they awful as bad. everybody says. Like, I, I mean, I guess they're bad, but they're not awful. They're they could be better. But, For um, this generation, I think it's kind of atrocious, but. It's no Lego City Undercover. Yeah, it's not. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Well, a few no. things are nice in that regards. Yeah, I think it could. They could be speedier. But um, any who's, uh, I I love uh, Tropical Freeze. I think it's terrific. I uh, much like this game. The levels feel very alive. You know, they're constantly changing and moving, and uh, just shit is happening, just always everywhere, and. Uh, it's such a spectacle, you know? It's such a... The world feels very alive, yeah. which I think I, is awesome. Yeah, I love uh, Tropical Freeze so much, and I love all the stages, most of them anyway. That's why I'm saying, like, get to World 3, because the first stage of World 3 is my favorite stage in the whole game. All right, well, and one of, my almost... one of my favorite levels in any game ever. Like, wow. it's just so... Like, not only is it fun, but it's just so... Like, ah, the music and the, like, atmosphere and just everything about that stage. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's fantastic. It's, ugh. Is it one of the silhouette levels? No. You've probably seen it in trailers. You're, like, jumping on, like, draft heads and stuff. Like, paper, oh, yeah, paper where mache like drafts dancing. and stuff. Like, they're, like, dancing to the music. Yeah, it's so, yeah. so cool. Like, that's not even the half of it. Like, ugh. I love it. No, love I'm it. I'm loving the game so far. The level with like the hot air balloons. Oh, like, that one's one stage. of my favorites as well. Yeah, like, that I... was awesome. And the sawmill minecart stage was. Ooh, another fantastic. one of my favorites. Maybe my second favorite. Um, <laughs> I just love everything. I just fucking I love that game. It's so good. No, um, it's it's. I totally see why. It's really really excellent. Um, it's so good. There was a point in time like after I beat it, I was like, oh man, I love this game so much. I want I wanted to do like a like a top ten my top 10 favorite stages but then i got fucking lazy and now i feel like it's too late nobody cares anymore the game's been out for two months nobody cares yeah, oh. i feel like you could still get away with it but not you want to do your mind uh no kart. i'm doing all my mario kart stuff this month yeah right exactly but oh, no okay. yeah i uh i'm glad i picked it up i wish i had picked it up sooner but you know money i don't know as long but, as you pick it up at all like nintendo needs that money but yeah no i i think it's i think it's fantastic i think it's better I, than the I, first one I oh yeah, I already can tell it is. Um, for one thing, it doesn't have waggle rolling, uh, so it's automatically better. But I just think the stages are more—they were really cool and alive in the first game. But I think this game pushed it even farther. They could do more with HD, you know. They could make them more of a spectacle, more alive. And uh, I feel like they pushed it even further, and I think it paid off. It's really cool. Um, I like the mic ability in this game. Sorry. I I will. I like the mic ability in every game. But yeah, I know what you mean about with like the shockwaves. That was a bad mm -hmm. idea. That was a bad idea. No, you make it. I oh, up. You could have made it. Jumped, but you just walked. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> instead, you died. But yeah, I, the the only thing I want to say about tropical freeze <laughs> is that like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Yes, Jimmy. I think we need to have a look at that play again, because it was embarrassing. It sure was, Jim. As you can see, Matt's first mistake was trying to inhale the enemy before being anywhere close to it. I had that problem at a buffet once. Now, to make matters worse, he tries to inhale in the air, but still just a bit too far, and look what's right below him. Those appear to be crumbling blocks, Jim. They sure are, Bim. So when he finally does inhale old walkie here, he lands just as the block is falling into the abyss and BAM! Dies with him in his mouth. Sounds like what happened to my ex-wife. I do not want to go there, Bim. <laughs> I went the whole first, like, world without dying at all, and then this one is just like, ah! Uh, way to go, Matt. Way to go, Idaho. I'm the but, best. Uh, I'm the best man. Anyway, travel, I, come on. 
This was a problem I also had with Donkey Kong Country Returns that I don't think is a flaw of the game. It's just a personal preference thing. Um, I think that the DK coins are better. Not better. I I like them a lot more than the puzzle pieces. I think that uh, it can be daunting to like, you're like, ah, oh, God damn it, I'm missing just one out of nine puzzle pieces, and I have no clue where it is. You oh, know. Yeah. I've, I've, uh, I, I will admit to having to watch a few videos on YouTube of where to get the last puzzle pieces, um, because I am a scrub. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like I said, it's not a flaw of the game at all. I just think that the DK coins were ingenious because you know, there's just one of them, and it's like, it's just more gratifying to find them and more intuitive to understand how to look for them than the puzzle pieces are the, this game this might have been in the last game too but i don't remember it where you to make a puzzle piece appear you have to get like all the bananas in a group that i missed quite a few of those early on because i was like whoa man, oh yeah man. those ones here yeah. like that's i don't know that's not, not a flaw bonkers. but but not to my personal preference i think anyway. um I think a flaw with this game, and it was actually kind of a flaw with the first game, is just the like bonus rooms are boring. They're yeah. uh, they're all the same. Yeah. I mean, the the Donkey Kong Country two and three, the bonus rooms had different themes. You know, they would be kill all the enemies, or you know, put the <laughs> hit the chicken. No, but, <laughs> you, you didn't know, hit the chicken. You know what I mean? Though they they weren't all just get all the bananas, and in this one and the first returns, they're just all get all the bananas. Hope you can get all the bananas, and hope you don't get sick of the same patterns of moving platforms obstructing yeah. you from the. And, and it's like that the whole game. Like every once in a while, you might get one that's different, and it's just like, oh, why aren't there more like that? And it's just, I don't know. I feel like it throws the flow of the game off because it's like I'm having so much fun in the level, and then I get to this, and it's just like, oh, I kind of don't want to even do this <laughs> i've already done it <laughs> yeah i but it's still i'm really glad i got it because it's still really good but kirby matt don't knock this down thanks josh i figured it out okay good <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're about to i thought about it but then i you thought about you it saw the big, <laughs> you saw the big giant treasure chest like in the foreground and you were like mm, maybe don't maybe not fuck up <laughs> i love this this wasn't. This didn't start in Return to Dreamland. I think it was, like Nightmare in Dreamland. Even it might have been that far back. But I love the hammer headband. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I just think it's so cool. I, I kind of think it's interesting and weird that Parasol was still the only ability with no hat. Maybe that's its gimmick. I mean, I guess that's the point now. But it's Shit. like, whoops. It used Waddle to be doesn't have a hat. I know, but neither Bonkers doesn't have a... Bandana. Yeah, most of these aren't, like, related to the characters that you get them from at all. I think they should give them, like, a rain cap. Hmm. Like a... <laughs> that would be interesting. No, man, Kirby didn't have the... the headband in Kirby Superstar. Yeah, enough for Hammer. He just had the Hammer. I like what I like about it too is that it's not just a fighter headband but yeah, in a different color. It's like a different kind of headband, you know. You got Conor. <laughs> Good. Oh, Kirby Mastack Kirby's nice. Ten oh, Kirby. Ten of them. That's okay. I didn't find that rare key. Thud. Cool. Thud. <laughs> Thud but. <laughs> The, the 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 hammer headband is like a one of those like taiko drum headband yeah, guys. Yeah, like a rope yeah. headband. No, it's, it's a total. <laughs> one of yeah. the ta taiko guy yeah. drum headbands. Nope. Trigger happy. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, just gave poor Kirby a shiner. Then. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the yeah. headband's covering. The Taiko Drum Master games, like in Japan, get like on the like on the Wii and stuff. They get a shit ton of like Nintendo themes. Like the new one that's coming out has um, <coughs> the po like a the battle theme for Pokemon X and Y. 
Nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we, we don't get any of them. That is pretty cool. Yeah. We don't. How do you guys feel about um, motion controls in this game? <laughs> I don't feel uh, like they're. Uh, they they shouldn't be there, but hey, they're not uh, a hindrance. Uh, uh, what? Why didn't you break that block? Mm -hmm. What block? <laughs> There was a block that was clearly cracked and able to be broken that you just walked right past. Alright, time to quit. Did you lose okay. the hammer? I mean, huh. you did ju You did just get started on this stage, so you yeah. didn't have to get pretty far. No reason to beat it and then come back. What do you think about the motion controls, Josh? Well, I feel like sometimes it could be a little obstructive, like in a way. I haven't... But, uh, I haven't I'm not gonna... I'm sorry, go ahead, man. Uh, like, I don't like motion controls. I've made no uh, secret of that, and I, I'm not going to say that I like them here either, but they haven't been bad, and they've been for only a few small sections. Like, they haven't made me angry like in some other games have, like fucking Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, motion controls. The balancing. Fun. Yeah. The balancing or the... Stupid boss that you don't have to use them for, I guess. But I did. I don't know. It's just I didn't like them in Luigi's Mansion. They made me angry. Here, I haven't been angry yet. It's the same with like. I haven't played very far into it because it's just okay. But like Yoshi's New Island has motion controls, um, and they haven't made me angry yet. They were they were okay. They they were fine. So like motion yeah. motion, motion controls when they're at their minimum. Like I still don't like them, and I wish they weren't there. But they don't piss me off like I don't it's it's not that big of a deal yeah I'm, I'm completely with Matt like uh, I, I would I would totally rather they just not be there but for what they are in this game I don't feel like they ever get in the way they're just kind of like you know if, now see I feel like they got in the way in Yoshi's New Island see okay. I only played very, I, I, I played very little of the game and I know you can play the whole game with motion controls like you can set it up so that the the way you the throw eggs your eggs thrown. and stuff, but yeah. why would I ever do that ever? But, but uh, I mean, from what I played, like with the couple of mini games, and oh, this is a cool item and stuff. Just... Uh, I think it's, I think it's fine. Yeah, oh, I yeah, I saw this one of the trailers. Yeah, this is very. I cool. think this is, this is really cool. Very cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah. Like they're this is really using like the two planes, you know. Very cool. Think more than little big planet. Oh, little big planet had three planes. Oh, so whatever. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Fuck you, Mega Shots. I hate fucking little big planets multi-plane system because then you yeah, like, it's be forced stupid. to jump onto a plane that you don't want to be on. Mm -hmm. It's done really well in this game. No, yeah. I dropped it, and I dropped my ability. Please well, they come don't, back. They don't, like, just, like, accidentally fucking force you to jump to a completely to different a second, plane. Sec yeah, second plane while jumping, mid-jump. Yeah, Little Big Planet's kind of sloppy. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Well, it's still great. Anybody who has a PlayStation 3 should have a little big planet. Like, there's just. It should be law, but. I think. Like, uh. Not really me's, but, like, they should integrate Sag Boys just directly into the PS4. Like. As, like, the avatar system. Basically, as a me or an avatar, yeah. Cool, because, yeah. like, their fucking home thing didn't take off. So, yeah. Oh my god. They need a new one. My home character looks sort of like me. You made a home character? I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what's this? Oh, it's The Sims, but with PlayStation. And then it wasn't like The Sims at all, and I got sick of it. Good thing they it's kept One sleep. big advertisement. They need to bring Broom back. <laughs> you, your favorite ability. Mm. Sweep. Clean. Clean. Oh, yeah, clean. clean. <laughs> all clean run. Yeah, there you go. They need to bring that shit back. I mean, they keep the little witch dude. I know, that, that enemy's been around for a long time. But I, I mean, that enemy was around before yeah, but, that was an ability. Yeah, but then they gave it purpose and then took it away immediately. <laughs> Those monsters. I feel, I feel like it was just sort of a gimmick in Dreamland 3 because, like... The helpers. That enemy had... 
that enemy had been around and hadn't done anything, and I feel like they were like, you know, people are going to assume this enemy still does nothing, so they're not going to suck it up. So what if we gave it ability just to just to screw with people? <laughs> oh, I need a flame. Or do I? Oh, no, you, you could do Yeah, you have the hammer thing. The hammer. Up and B. Oh. Yeah. Also, motion controls. Yeah, I know. Oh, wait. These puzzles are actually really Damn cool. It. I mean, right, I motion controls. Oh, but it came back. Yeah, it always comes back. That was nice of it. Well, it, it didn't in uh, Superstar. That's why he thought it wouldn't. Oh, uh, okay. Lately, all the Kirby games since Superstar have the fused regrows. But, um. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, like these puzzles don't need to have motion controls, but I think they're very creative and fun puzzles. Like, uh. Matt getting a cannon. Matt getting a cannon. They get even goofier in terms of like overlaying fuses, and you have to, you know, move the thing in the right place. I think it's very cool. Very there's, like there's it. one that's just really frustrating later in the game. Um, I got one that took me quite a while already. So. Oh well, it might be that one. It, there You're might not be in the last world though, aren't you? No, I'm on world five, so there might be an even tougher one. But I think they're cool puzzles. Yeah, they're cool. I was so frustrated with that last one. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. I did it wrong like 10 different times. And I I'm not even sure a sunstone was at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, you did all that work and you just got like a rare keychain or something. Yeah, I don't even think it was a rare keychain. It might have been a sunstone. I don't, I don't remember. If it was earlier today, I don't remember. <laughs> You have very bad memory, Josh. Ouch. Bad short-term memory, good long-term memory. Are you sure about that? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I remember specific conversations. Okay, but you're always forgetting, like, Pokemon names. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. I'm not good with names, either. So. I don't remember Pokemon... types. Like that new guy who's in the Smash Bros, that Greninja. You, okay, first of all, don't pretend like you don't know his name. Second of all, if you're going to pretend like you don't know his name, don't say his name. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, yo, yo. That Greninja guy. <laughs> yeah, What's Cutter. Name that Greninja guy? <laughs> well, like, what bugs me is, for as much as I hate Honey Queen, I at least know her name. <laughs> what does that have to do with fucking Greninja? <laughs>